Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials and today I will show you how to create digital particle transition in Adobe After Effects using Stardust. So create your composition and let's get started. So as you see here in my composition, I have Stardust already applied to this layer and two comps right here. So basically here I have background which is very straightforward to create just a ramp right here and these transition placeholder, which is very important. So let's solve this and see what we have here. So basically here I have this footage that I want to create digital particles for it and apply block dissolve and opacity animations. So you can see here the out animation or the in and then the out to the second placeholder so let's open to see what we have inside so here we have two placeholders so this is the first one and basically this is the second one right here so using uh, opacity animations as you can see here for the second one we want it to start while there is already the first one still there and then just fade out the first one because we want to have a mix or blending between the two uh, placeholder with Stardust particles. So let's see what we have more here. So basically you can add these uh, chroma aberration and glitches right here, animating these, as you can see, we're just going to reveal these, adding few masks here and just add uh, displacement map to just distort these. Very straightforward to create glitches so we don't have to waste time on this tutorial. And if you want to know how to create glitches, there's this video which you can uh, get an idea if you never know how to create glitch effects or glitch overlays. So here, as you can see, very straightforward, adding glitch. And of course, you can add sound effects right here with it as well. And you can do the same thing at the end if you want to right here, you can add a glitch here for the out animation as well. So basically that what we have inside transition placeholder. Uh, two placeholders animating with opacity and then just adding distortion right here. Just uh, a part in the first and then at the end as well here. Just to blend things and add some digital glitches. So now let's go back to the main comp right here. So the idea now is to project this transition placeholder into Stardust particles. So let's solo particles here and choose grade on particle emitter type and then emit in once and zero out the speed. And the size of X, we need to have the size of our comp right here for X and Y and zero out the Z. And right here we have grid property. So we can just add more particles on X and Y, or you can just go to particle here and take a look at how many particles size we have here. And we can just basically divide the size of X by 10 for X and Y. And we need just one on the Z. So let's have more life to the particles here. And so now you can see anything, just four particles here. And so let's add a field node and connect these to the particles. By default, we have type set to sphere. We need to go for maps and then type on the maps here. We need layer. And then we're going to assign the layer we want to project, which is transition placeholder here. So right now you can't see anything because right here we want to affect color and we need to apply this to X and Y. So you can see here what we got. We got our image right here. So let's duplicate these. And now we want to affect different properties. So here, instead of color, we're going to choose density here. So right here we have amount, so we can play with these, as you can see here. So we are going to animate these density field here. So we want to reveal these and just before animation around opacity 30, we want to add keyframe here on amount for density here. Basically density, not this one here. 
which is this one right here. So from zero and around 10 frames, we're going to set these to 100. Okay, so basically now we have particles here and we want to adjust this. So basically here we can use uh, different shapes and we can change here the size to make things look better right there. But instead of these, I'm just going to use texture here. So it's going to be easy for me to uh, switch between shapes. So right here I have shape right here, texture, shape. So basically you can just have your shape here. The comp is uh, 150 by 150. So you can have different shape. Here I have zero and one right here to switch, randomize these uh, from here. So right here I have characters. So basically just animating these characters here, just using a uh, character value here, make sure to align using adjust kernel here to stay in the center here. So you can just choose your uh, font and so on and just get things right there. So we're going to use character texture here. So let's add these two texture shape to our comp here. And let's just turn off this belly for this one. And on particle node, we're going to assign these to texture. So once you assign shape to texture, you can assign this texture shape right here. If you want to have layer on dark side as well. So right here, you can see now we have these three right here. So we want to use random stale frames right there. So now we have randomized these uh, right there. Another thing I want you to make sure about is on these block dissolve, just make sure we are using uh, the right amount for this. So basically right here, Let's just solo these. So we're having a square here dissolving these. You can change these, but we're using 10 by 10 and on particles, we use 10 as well. So we try to make things really uh, the same shape right there. So now we have projecting these as you can see here, which is really nice. So right here we have texture and color we're going to use alpha here. So we're going to get the color from the footage as well, which is pretty cool as you can see now. So if we just take a look now with this one here, so basically at the beginning right there, we have our footage. And right here, once these start having some glitches, basically we want these to start around there. So as this glitch is started, you can see we're getting our particles there, which is very cool. So let's just preview this part right here. So as you can see, it's pretty cool as you can see here animating these and switching to the particles with the glitches effect and the sound effects as well, which is pretty cool. So now we can add um, turbulence here if we want to. So basically I'm going to add it and just disable it for now, but let's just duplicate this field right here. And this is going to be the displacement here. So what I mean here, let's just select these, make sure we are on the third one. And instead of density, we are going to choose position here. And you can see now what we get. So we can apply the position to the Z and let's not animate any of this. So let's have effective properties. And here we have position. So you can see what's going on there. We are affecting the particles or displacement the particles using the same layer or the same map. So we want to use a different one, which is going to be this one here. So basically this one is very straightforward, just fractals right here. So you can just check the tutorial how to use or how to create fractal 
or glitches overlays here in apps are fixed. So basically just using fractals, different shapes here to create these uh, map. And we are going to use this to displace our um, image here. So right here, we're going to assign displacement map. So this is going to be displacement. And you can see here what's going on. You can see the distortion now it changed to this. So we can see the difference between using the same layer and using another one here. You can see how nicely this is uh, displaced here using fractals in this one. So let's make sure turning off this one here. And so now we can basically play with these position here. So as you can see here, and because we are not able to go to the minus here, so we're just going to go for 2,500. And then we're going to use basically the amount so we can just switch these two negative values here. So we're going to animate the amount as well. So let's reveal the keyframes here and maybe starting the animation just right here. Can adjust that layer so maybe from minus from zero to around three seconds maybe to minus here minus 100 you can see all these particles coming through front of the camera here which is pretty cool and then let's say this is the end of where our logo is start going to show up there we want to just add another keyframe there. We just around there. And we want to have a zero displacement at the end or around seven right there. So you can see maybe that's too early. So let's try right there. So you can see with dissolve we are getting things into place. And you can see here we have mix between both uh, placeholders. We have the logo colors and actual video at the beginning. So right there we get only this. And with the camera animation things will blend nicely so and now we can basically add turbulence now and uh, choosing here to go on axis maybe one and try to choose the z axis and we can add more turbulence to this if we want to so we can basically animate these turbulence as well let's say from zero right there Let's reveal the keyframes around maybe 150 or 1000 on 500 and then just getting these back to zero. Just adjusting the keyframes here. So let's pretty to see how this looks like. So as you can see, things look pretty good. So and now we can add a new camera here and create orbit for these camera here. And let's turn off depth of field for now. And so the first thing we want to do here is let's transform our position and point of interest with that keyframes first, and we can animate that here. For example, zooming this and tracking if we want to. Maybe that too much. And we are going to add 
rotation to the camera using uh, Z and Y rotation. So let's keyframe these uh, around two seconds. We want that to start from zero and then this one, this Z, we want it to be at zero as well. And for the Y, I want that to be 360. And around four seconds, we want the Z rotation to be 50 degree, something like that. So basically that's what you're going to get. And basically we have a rotation, but because we have uh, this only on one side, we need to create another one for the other side as well. So that's what we are going to do here. So you can see we have this empty space here. So we are going to duplicate these ones here. And then we are going to go for just um, displacement, the second one. And instead of having that to minus on the amounts, we are going to have one hander in there. So we are going to have it on the other side. So let's here just adjust maybe the camera a little bit here. Something like that. And we are going to offset a little bit these keyframes here for the second one. Something like that. Maybe for the second displacement here, we don't need this keyframe. And maybe we can go for both to, just to create variations. We're still going to build up more. So let's for now uh, preview to see how this looks like. So as you can see, things look pretty cool. So we can now basically just easy ease these keyframes here and just slow down camera animation at the beginning and at the end as well. So you can do whatever you want with the camera here. Uh, we can enable a depth of field here. So let's enable that here and just animate here these focus distance. So here, maybe we need our own 2500. So let's copy this keyframe and paste it right here. And in the middle here, we can just go maybe for 1000. And we can actually maybe here, uh, zoom these a little bit here. So we have more things in focus. Maybe we can just go aperture to 10 something like that. So it's up to what you would like to do here. So you can uh, just adjust things as you would like. So for now, we're just going to turn off the to fill to work faster a little bit. So and now you can see here we still have a little bit of gaps and stuff. So we need to do first few variations here. So here we have effect properties both set to 2500. So the second one, I'm just going for maybe 500. So you can see we got some variation here. Let's make sure how it looks right here. We don't want things to be dense. So maybe pushing these a little bit to eight hundred. Let's look fine. And so now we want to duplicate this one, control D. And so now we have a second particles uh, here. So we're going to solo these and then I'm going to add transform. And right here, we're going to rotate these 90 degree on the Y. So we're going to have uh, two of these layers. So now you can see we have more of these. So this one is going to be facing the camera at the beginning like this, and then just turning into the other position or opposite direction right there. So both of them right here, we can now take a look how both 
the log. And so what we're going to do, because it's so busy, as you can see here, we can actually adjust here the seats to have a random seats for the second particle layer here. And for particles, we're going to uh, birth chance and for this maybe just 50%. And for this one, let's make sure we're on the first particle node, maybe 70 here. So we have a few variations there as well. We can also change here, uh, push this a little bit more into space. As you can see here, doing the same thing for this one. Maybe this one right here. Uh, we're just going to have maybe five entered on this. So just creating variations here now, as you can see. So now we have both here, two layers, and I'm going to add another one. So Control D, duplicating the third one here, and and now I'm just going to make these as a background. So we just rename this background here. And basically, I'm going to remove all these notes here and basically disable this one as well, these two. So now we have only a few here, layers. So we actually removed uh, the particles too, so we need to make sure we are on background we created here. So make sure to select background here and then solve the background here and remove transform node and these nodes as well. And I'm going to disable these fields and on emitter. So now you can just see we have the grid right here. So on emitter here, on the grid properties, we just want fewer particles on the X and Y here. So maybe something around there. And on particles uh, node here, we want to have life around 5.5 and random life to 50% and then birth chance just have a little bit there. So maybe 35. So we want to have basically something like this right here. We can make these a little bit bigger here. So we have these bigger there. So now let's just reveal these keyframes. Maybe I'm just going to remove this one here and just adjust these and have a random seats as well something like that. So now we have something like this and we want the background to be below transition placeholder. So at the end, we're going to have something like this. So let's preview and see how this looks like all together. But before that, let's basically add glow here copy these and paste it to the other particles so we can have a nice glow there. So let's preview to see how this looks like. So as you can see, things look pretty cool now. And you can see at the end here, we still have particles right there. So we need to make sure we are getting these fade out as well. So right here, we need to make sure we have these density um, at the end as well. So just copy the first keyframes and reverse these keyframes. So basically, this is a uh, density that we have here. So we want to do the same for both here. And we can 
just extend these a little bit here and doing the same thing for this one as well. Just reverse keyframes. And so now we can have the so let's solo it so we can see exactly what's going on there. So now we're going to have the fade of these particles right there very nicely. So we can stagger or shift the second layer a little bit here, just so we can create some distortion there, different different looks in the background. As you can see here, we add some really nice looks and depth to that. So basically now we set up everything we need here. So if we go to transition placeholder and change this placeholder to actual video here. So now we're going to have the same thing here updating for us. So let's take a look how this is going to look like. So as you can see now, we have things look pretty cool. So we can now just uh, stylize this the way you want to, like colors and so on. So I'm just going to show you here quickly how you can actually do that. So for example here, uh, let's take a look on this one here. So for example, this one, you can add a glitch at the end as well. So basically here, just uh, glitch. Let's just solve these right here so you can see what's going on. So here we have a few masks right here, animating these masks here and apply here these uh, displacements and distortion effects so we can just have in some parts here some glitches as you can see. Just animating these randomly here to add some nice animation add out like we did inside the transition placeholder adding the sound effects make this look pretty cool and you can add also overlay here just basically these uh, glitches here so adding that to the top here uh, make things look pretty interesting here as you can see so it's up to you how you want to stylize this and you can add also lens flare here so basically here, just After Effects, Lens Flare, as you can see, animating that. So basically here, using the null to uh, make these 3D uh, Lens Flare here to make it easily to orbit as well. Uh, just using uh, these nulls for these two here. So very straightforward, using this layer or this comp layer to comp. So now we have the lens flare basically uh, rotates as well on the camera. So let's just solve these so you can see exactly what's going on here. So you can see how the lens flare basically animating there and just animating here the flare brightness and adding these animation on the flare center using these nulls. So there's no uh, animation to this except you can add position offset here if you want to to this null so here just if you want to place the null right there so if we just disable the position we still have the animation going on right there so this is just to place these to the center at the end so it start right there and we want that to be right there at the end so this is just about the flares. You can add actual uh, pre-render lens flare as well, just to add some nice look to that. And basically uh, adding uh, sound effects make things very interesting.
and to add that with the whole thing will make things look and sound pretty cool and interesting. And for the colors, basically you can just add colorama here. So if we just take a look to these color here, so you can also animate at the beginning here if you want to blend things, you can add basically the same masks there. And just so you can blend things with the actual footage before and then just start blending that randomly with the glitch and get to same color here. Using Colorama, just make sure uh, Intec Modify Alpha and you are on here in Saturation channel and then you can just switch uh, different uh, colors here. So you can see you can get some really nice interesting looks and make sure you are enable depth of field as well right there so you can stylize it the way you want to and basically um, for texture here shape you can now just switch to a different one very quickly and it's going to update here so that's it guys hope this tutorial was very useful for you as always and if you have any questions just comment and i will do my best to be responsive and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and thank you for watching